I am, like most South Africans, in lockdown due to the coronavirus. I want to give you a question. What is our top priority during this time of lockdown? What is our top priority during this time of lockdown? We could say it's social media, social distancing, staying at home, just making sure we don't have contact with other people, washing our hands, keeping ourselves busy. Now all these things are noble, but they're not our top priority. What is our top priority during lockdown? Now there's one thing that coronavirus has brought to our attention. And that is the thing that is emphasized more than anything else. It's what coronavirus is all about. And that is death. Death. We get up in the morning and we look to see how many deaths have taken place in the last 24 hours. How many deaths are there due to the coronavirus? We look at South Africa. We look at the world. We look at America, we look at Europe, we look at Russia, and then we look at the world. And as we look at the world, we see how many people have died. And every day, there's so many deaths. Death, death, death. Even in our own lives, death has been brought into our homes. The news is just all about death. Every station, all day long, death. In fact, we're in lockdown due to death, to prevent ourselves from dying due to the coronavirus. Now, as I was practicing this message earlier on, Helen said to me, that's a morbid message. Yes, it's a morbid message. Yes, it's a morbid subject. It's a morbid atmosphere that is circling the globe in every country in the world. But it doesn't have to be like it. What we need to do is look beyond death. We need to look beyond death and look into eternity. And we discover there in eternity that once Jesus comes, once death has been completely done away with, we will enter into an amazing time. As Christians, we have something really wonderful to look forward to. Which poses a question. What is our top priority during lockdown? Because in the future, in eternity, tells us there's going to be a wedding, the marriage feast of the Lamb. Now we know the bridegroom is Jesus and we know his bride is the church and so we've got, we've, we can look forward to having the wedding in eternity but Jesus spoke to us about a wedding and he told us in a parable that the groom chooses what time he arrives for the wedding and so everyone has to be ready, waiting for the groom to come. And he can come suddenly, unexpectedly. And when he does, the bride has to be ready. And in the Revelation chapter 19, it tells us about the marriage feast of the Lamb. And it tells us in verse 7, and his bride has made herself ready. Now you notice that it's in the past tense has made herself ready. But we're now in the time before that. And so we need to put that into the present tense, into our present tense, and realize that the bride now has to get ready. She needs to be ready when Jesus comes. And so what is our top priority while we're in lockdown? To be ready when Jesus comes. First of all, we get ready by being born again. And if you've never been born again, 
I'd like to encourage you to be born again today. But after that, what must we do to be ready? Well, the Bible tells us there in Revelation 19 and verse 8, that it's uh, we'll be wearing a garment given to us, given to us by Jesus. And that garment is the righteous acts of the saints. It's our righteous acts. Now, we know we cannot do righteous acts on our own, but Jesus is the one who gives us the garment, and he gives us his righteous acts, and we need to live those acts. We need to live according to his righteousness. And so, how do we get ourselves ready? How do we get ourselves ready for the marriage feast of the Lamb? We get ready by righteous acts, by doing righteous things, by being righteous. The question is, what is the top priority in, uh, in lockdown? And the top priority is that we have to look forward to eternity where we will be at the marriage feast of the Lamb. Are you ready? Are you ready if Jesus came tonight? Are you ready if Jesus came tomorrow? Are you ready for the marriage feast of the Lamb? Are you as a bride ready by doing righteous acts through Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen.